Eagles escape against the Cleveland Browns 20 to 16. Ah, bad boys, the bad boys are back. Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, they made a huge impact on the game. Jalen Hurts didn't have not one turnover in the game. And with that being said, it turned into a win. You know we have to address the elephant in the room. Nick Sariani barking to the Eagles fans. And he actually gave an apology. With that being said, you already know what we need to do. Cue music. something that if we lessen his snap count, maybe he might give us more production. Maybe it might light a fire on him, and now he might step up and be one of that first round draft pick that we got him for a couple years ago. I'll even give a little shout out to Bryce Huff, who recorded a half a sack. Looked like he turned around, put the fours in the ground, and Got his got this thing going. I'll have to give him some love. Okay, Q. Q, you definitely get need some love. Quentin Mitchell, you went out there and you played you played your little heart out. You were this close. This close from a pit. But when you got two ball hop coming out, coming in in like two missiles, stuff like that does happen. But don't worry, you. I'm feeling there's going to be a lot, a lot coming on down the road. With that being said, I want you guys to comment. Tell me what you think our Eagles defense did down, down below. Comment down below. Tell me that. And let's keep this thing going. Let's go on the other side of the ball. The offense. I would say at times we did struggle a little bit on offense, but let's let's get this straight. Jalen Hurts played a good game. 16 for 25 for 264 and two touchdowns. That that's not a bad game. That's 
that's not a bad game. You know, 126 QBR rating, that's not a bad game. Here's the big thing. He didn't have any turnovers. When he doesn't have any turnovers, they're going to win ball games. Hands down. Too many weapons, too many things that they can do for him to blow that game. Jim Schwartz showed his hand in that game. He showed you exactly what he was going to do. We're going to load the box against Saquon Barkley because we're not letting Saquon beat us. And we're going to make sure that Jalen Hurts beats us. And he did. And he did. He did exactly what he needed to do. We did hit a couple roadblocks. We had got hit with some huge injuries. Huge injuries. But at the end of the day, it has to be what? The next man up. Frank Calpachera, you did it just exactly. You did just that. Four catches, 67 yards. You did just that. You stepped up right when we needed you to. I'm going to have to say, but you got to give me, got to give a big shout out to the bad boys, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. Let's start off with A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown, six catches for a buck 16 in the touchdown, and he gave the icing on the cake at the end of the game. Break basket catch, ball game. Nick Sirianni even said that QB1 and A.J. Brown audible to that play because they seen a man-to-man -man coverage. Shout out to them. And then you got to go with the other half of bad boys, Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith, three catches for 67 yards and the tutty. 45 yard on a mesh play and went right down the sideline. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. My take on this game. Number one, def against the defense played real well. I'm hoping we don't see what we saw at Tampa Bay as Baker Mayfield was dissecting the defense like a Thanksgiving turkey. The defenses I want to see is what we did in the NL and what we did this week. If we do what we did this week, and we did what we did in the NL. Who that? Out there in Tampa Bay, I really feel we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. All that being said, let's address the elephant in the room, Nick Sariani. We all felt that Nick Sariani was definitely on the hot seat this week, especially if he lost, that thing would have been white hot. Now, you get a win, and now we almost have the audacity to go out and bark at the Philadelphia Eagles fans. You're getting mad at the customer because of what we've seen on the field. Because let's be honest. Honestly, it should be at least 4-1, maybe even 5-0 at this point. I would go with 4-1 at the least. So you're mad at us because of the things you've done and the play calls you've said that you've called. Because now you've said that you've called two plays 
one on offense, one on defense. And the defensive coordinator, Big Fangio, said, no, 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 no. He didn't call that play. He just said that he seen something. That's it. This formula for Nick Sirianni at this point is very simple. You need to just relax and let the Cooks cook. You got a good defensive coordinator, let him cook. You got a good offensive coordinator, let him cook. You got a good QB, let him cook. You got the best one two wide receiver tandem in the NFL. Let them cook. You got a top tight end. Let them cook. You got a all line. Let them cook. You got a decent and you got a young defense that is getting the scheme together. Let them cook. All you need to do at this point is sit back and reap the benefit. Don't say a word and just relax and let it come on in. Because if you keep on talking, it's getting the crowd, it's getting the fans, it's getting the noise louder and louder. Now, I'm not the one that's going to say anything. I am not a man that's going to talk about anything when it comes down to your business in your money. But when it comes down to what's going on right now, a lot of things need to just relax. Nick, you just need to relax. Let your cookers cook. Let them players play. And you just sit back, reap the benefits and just don't say much. Say minimal, and I guarantee you, you'll be fine. The players are saying that they need to see old Nick. The difference between old Nick in 2022 and 2024 is easy and different. 2022, that team was winning by a marginal victory. They were grinding. They were doing their thing. So you chirping didn't really, we didn't really care too much about that. We were all right about that. Plus we had some leaders that knew how to just keep that under wrap without us even knowing about it as Philly fans. This one you can't do much chirping. We haven't been doing much winning. The stretch of the of about 12 games has shown. We've been talking about going back to fundamentals for a while. So now we are at the point we need to. We got a good group of boys on both sides of the ball. Let's go out there and just do our thing. You just sit back, be the figurehead like the CEO of a, of a billionaire company, and relax and let this thing play out for itself. We'll be fine. I want to know what you guys think about Nick Sirianni and what's going on you know he apologized, but do we think we're going to see the annex? Probably so. There'll probably be more coming down the road. Comment below and tell me what you guys think. Whew. That being said, you already know what it is. I want to thank you for watching Skyline exclusively on YouTube. And if you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, email us at the one, the number one skybox at gmail.com. 
It's me, Michael C., the source of life, over the mic. I'll have the coldest panel in the game later, but you already know what you need to do. You need to fly. Eagles fly. And all you already know what I'm about to say. Go birds. Let's make this epic. Are the Eagles and two and two still in the top ten in the week five power rank?